Thank you very much, Mr. Lacroix. Um, a couple of quick follow-ups. 
have there been any incidents today? And what, what was the reaction that you got from the Israelis when you raised the issues of the attacks against Unifil facilities and the injuries to five peacekeepers and more? And um, thirdly, um, what are you, you said you're staying put. Um, is there any chance that things might change? What would make things change? Um, to the best of my knowledge, there's no incident uh, today, or at least no incident comparable with uh, what we saw uh, uh, over, over the last couple of days. Um, as I said, we were in touch with the Israeli authorities, and uh, they've indicated that uh, there would be a kind of well uh, investigation carried out uh, regarding some of these uh, incidents, and we are taking note of that. Uh, we will see what comes out of this. Um, and then, uh, uh, when it comes to the future, well, what I can tell you is uh, uh, we are, I'm repeating myself, sorry, but we're, re we're reviewing constantly the situation. And uh, uh, we have contingency planning for all scenarios. Of course, uh, uh, we will continue to do that. And uh, if there are evolution which would uh, at some point warrant an evolution in a posture of duty field, then of course we would uh, consider Thank you. Um, thanks, Mr. Lacroix. Michelle Nichols from Reuters. I wanted to follow up on what you said about UNIFIL's mandate being to support the parties to implement Resolution 1701. Under that resolution, UNIFIL's there to assist the Lebanese armed forces to keep southern Lebanon clear of any weapons that don't belong to the Lebanese state. So, for the people outside this building who don't, who aren't down in the weeds, don't follow this as closely, don't know anything about it, how do you explain to them what Unifil is there doing? Can you, can they operate without the Lebanese armed forces? For instance, if they found a tunnel near one of their bases, as the Israeli military is um, saying they've found, what could they have done about that? Without a strong Lebanese army, which has also been a topic of discussion. Is UNIFIL just a monitoring mission? I think, first of all, that uh, ultimately um, that it's all about compliance. In other words, if uh, we are to see uh, one day uh, the implementation of the real implementation of Resolution 1701, then uh, it will mean that the parties will accept to comply with Resolution 1701. Uh, it goes without saying. But I think it's critical to say that. I mean, uh, uh, and obviously, if you ask me, was Resolution 1701 implemented? Of course not. Was there goodwill uh, to implement Resolution 1701 uh, over the last uh, couple of years? Well, uh, I think you know the answer. Uh, you could also recall that uh, even though we're currently facing a very, very, very difficult and dangerous situation, but uh, uh, the, the life of Unifil or, or the, the to be operational in the field in the past years were not that easy, and you would remember why uh, and, and what uh, Unifil had been facing in terms of uh, the various kind of relations for relations from all parties, which, by the way, were reported in the, in the Secretary General's uh, report. But I think this is really critical to uh, emphasize that uh, uh, Unifil has a mission to support the many ways in which uh, uh, that uh, is uh, being done and that will be done in case uh, uh, a return to, uh, uh, like I say, implementation of resolutions. And, uh, in the meantime, of course, uh, uh, we, we have to currently focus on the, uh, both uh, the safety and security of our peacekeepers and the religious posture, and of course, uh, the broader issue, which is that uh, the civilian population is suffering and the uh, hostilities needs to stop, and there has to be a return to the bigger feeding thing. Uh, All right. Uh, could you please come near the microphone? Yes. In the last, in the last uh, 18 years, while UNIFIL was observing, um, Hezbollah actually became a much stronger army than the Lebanese army. 
and um, it hardly does reflect in your UNIFIL reports uh, that fact, including, for instance, that tunnel that you mentioned. Uh, did, did the UNIFIL report on that tunnel? Because, I mean, it, this is a very heavy, ter uh, rocky terrain, which is very hard to dig in. So, I mean, it's almost impossible for it not to see it. First of all, uh, I think since you mentioned the ending, of course, as, uh, I want to compliment on the question that was asked earlier, which is obviously uh, the strengthening of the Lebanon forces, the strengthening of its presence throughout the territory of southern of Lebanon, including very much in southern Lebanon, is an absolutely fundamental element of the Lebanon um, And uh, this is why also we support uh, efforts to uh, strengthen the uh, Glen LAF to provide the and training and needs. Of course, it has to be part of all the efforts uh, towards implementing a resolution 71. Now, in terms of the uh, tunnel and these uh, allegations, uh, you know, we, we see those elements uh, expressed by IDF. One party will have to see exactly uh, what it is, not very easy in the context of these uh, <laughs> in the division. Um, but I think the bottom line is the following. I mean, uh, I think that uh, we have to stand against uh, every uh, assumption or every suggestion that uh, if Resolution 1701 was not implemented, it's because UNIFIL did not implement, which has never its mandate all Resolution 1701. Supporting the parties means a lot of things. You know, it means being with them, it means deconflicting, it means uh, working on uh, making sure that uh, uh, events Hezbollah, is that one of the parties? Of course, yes. 